I am very excited to share this little truck with you guys. It's time for you to get pumped because I have found an amazing, tiny, super hobby grade little crawler. <laughs> oh, now, now I want a 124th scale smoke machine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love this thing. Hey everyone, I'm Nate. I'm Abby. Amelia is taking a nap and Popeye is batting down the hatches. We're the RC sailors. Welcome to our RC family. Guys, you know that we've been enjoying the crawling scene a lot, maybe too much lately. Specifically the 10th scale crawler scene. We're modding things, we're adding smoke machines to them. Well, now I've stumbled across an amazing little 124th scale crawler. This is four wheel drive, ready to run with batteries and everything. It even comes with lights installed. Little Phillips screwdriver. We've got a little multi tool here to tighten the wheel nuts and of course our USB charge cable. But the very cool thing about this is that it's going to appeal to a ton of people. Maybe you're not into crawlers, but you've been on the fence about it. This truck is going to be perfect for you because it comes in under $100. But the really nice thing is the super scale everything about it. I mean, they have done a very good job at centering everything for weight distribution. The battery is a very common. A Molex connector, single cell battery. I've got a ton of these batteries from all the drones over the years that we fly around. Uh, the chassis of this just looks so much like a 10th scale crawler. Yes, these are plastic links, but you have to keep in mind, we're driving a little 1 24th scale crawler here rather than a big 10th scale, you know, over big boulders and stuff. The wiring, they've done just such a good job with the lights and everything on here. I think this truck will be amazing for those of you that have never tried crawling before. It's going to feel like a 10 scale crawler, just smaller. And if you're like us and you're super into the crawling scene, you're going to really want to pick one of these up because you're going to be able to drive inside your house when it's bad weather days. Maybe if you don't want to go very far, this is going to go great in your uh, garden or something. And check out these tires. Look how soft these tires are. I mean, I'm talking true hobby grade here, guys. The best thing is to the price point. You're gonna love this. Just check out the link in the description box below. I wanna power this puppy on so you guys can see the lights. You didn't show them the cool this transmitter. This transmitter, guys, is so awesome. And, and listen to how this runs. Fully proportional steering and throttle. Look at this transmitter. I have never seen anything like this transmitter, but I think it is going to catch on like wildfire. This is the first time I've seen this ready to run transmitter. The wheel feels really good. The throttle feels great, but check this out. Although we've got all this trim functionality and stuff up here, what I'm excited about is this. Pull this little lever on the back and push this out. That looks like a little ammo clip or something. The, the cool thing here is they might implement a rechargeable system. Maybe they want to change the grip style on here. Maybe a part of your transmitter breaks, you can replace the other part. This is going to catch on. You put your batteries in here. I just think it's awesome. Not only all of the ideas I just mentioned, now for travel, let's say you really are tight on space, you can take this apart and break it down into a different type of storage. I mean, that, that is just, that's so cool. It's very, it's the small things that count. What we're going to do today is drive this little baby crawler up on the Epic hill and see if it's capable of doing what our 10 scale crawlers can do. This is going to be fun. This is an actual usable spare tire back here. I'm telling you guys, I mean, I wish you could feel these tires. They're so soft and knobby and this just looks so good. I think it comes in a couple different colors. Those lights look great. And you know, I'm, I'm excited to run this, but a, a big part of this crawling scene is just admiring the work and the detail here. I think this is a very cool little truck. Let's do it. What I'm finding the challenge is, realizing this is a 1 24th scale crawler, I am trying, I, now I have to shrink my imagination down to a tiny world where my 10th scale crawler could easily conquer these roots and stuff. Now I've got to find smaller, more detailed pads like this to climb the hill. What a sweet little machine. What a sweet little machine. Let's see even little springy roots. I gotta watch out for. Them. 
It's got me pinned there, Abby. Can you see it? Like a lip of the dirt? Yeah. You can't climb that. Okay, let's... I'm going to get up this hill here. I just have to find easier routes. How cool is it that this will go... We can go so slow if we want to. I mean, this is a true crawler. Very cool. Just have to find really different paths that I'm not used to having to take. Look at that go. Look at that thing go. <laughs> oh, now, now I want a 124th scale smoke machine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love this thing. It's really fun to think about the different paths I have to take now. I almost have more opportunities with this. Oh no, I rolled. I have more opportunities with this truck now because of its size. My imagination can kind of take over a little bit. And now the world has become quite a bit bigger. Abby, this is the first time we've ever had a crawler on our way out to our crawling spot. It sat up in the center <laughs> of the vehicle rather than in the trunk. And I could keep this little truck and 20 batteries for it just in a little toolbox. You know, like my tackle mm -hmm. toolbox that I use for the hobby. Let's look at this thing up on the concrete pad. Isn't that awesome? It's driving so well. It does have its limitations, yes. But if you just think about the paths, listen to that construction off in the distance. Yeah, we're gonna have to go see what's going on. Yeah, that is crazy. Behind the wood line on top of the hill here. Okay, Abby's at the controls now. She's gonna get from here to the uh, disc golf course. And you know, I don't think this will be able to do the, the hill that the 10th scale crawlers do because I know for sure it can't get through the grass at the bottom of the hill. And it seems like on really steep inclines, this struggles a little bit, but just like this is amazing. I mean, we're climbing. You guys can see the incline. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, I'm surprised. Good job. I thought it would get hung up. Let's go on this side. Oh, you're carrying a leaf and it looks like a whole tree. There we go. How beautiful is that? That is so scale. You know, you could haul this on top of your 10 scale crawler. This is something that you'd pick up and show off to your buddies. The next time you go to the crawling course or a trail, you guys are all sitting around at the picnic tables just waiting to go on your trail. You drive this around. Or maybe you're like our friends that live up north and it's really cold nine or 10 months out of the year and you're stuck inside a lot. This is cool. You know what? I think the way we see, oh, you're gonna roll it. You're gonna roll it. <laughs> I think the way we see model trains on tabletops. Oh, there goes Abby. Oh, guess who gets to get it? <laughs> the way we see model trains on tabletops with a truck this size, we're gonna see courses built on tabletops and then guys are gonna try to conquer the little course with their 24th scale crawlers. Oh, there it goes. Too bad, so sad, walk of shame for Abby. Well, as I was saying before, Abby went and tumbled down the hill there. Uh, I think this would be an amazing truck to see people do tabletop crawling courses with. Could you guys imagine? Even if you're stuck inside on nasty weather days and stuff, you could work together as a club or just a group of friends on a cool tabletop crawler course like you see model trains. But you'd have these little 124th scale crawlers. You know, you could customize the bodies, have competitions, just have fun. Just like the Recon G6 trails and Axial Fest, that kind of thing. This is so cool. It opens up so many possibilities and so many doors because we're actually looking at a hobby grade truck here. Very awesome. Batteries are cheap for this too. You can find batteries for like, what, Abby, like five bucks each or something when you get that six pack that we like to get. I'll try my best to find those batteries and I'll link them in the description box below with this truck. You guys, this is so cool. If you've never done crawling anything before, 
this is a good way to start because you're not going to break the bank with like a two to four hundred dollar truck depending on what you get and oh my gosh it's just so cool so scale you kind of have to look at your path and find a good path that's meant for a little guy like this that's right that's what i was thinking too when i was driving it oh no uh, see like little springy grassy plant stuff tends to knock it over because i'm telling this is so light it's so light but in a way that's good you can always add weight to it though very capable guys very capable and the cool thing about a crawler is how often do you guys break parts on your crawlers versus your bashers you know something like this it's going to hold up a really long time but i did notice they do have spare parts for this too so that's nice very cool <laughs> yeah i love this thing it makes me want to see if they're going to come out with more and more and more 124th scale crawlers because i'd like to have a little little collection of these things they're so cool oh no 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 <laughs> Well, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about this tiny scale crawler? I, I'm very impressed. I think you need to add it to your collection ASAP. I think it'd be cool to put like a nice hobby grade receiver in here and add more lights to it. That would be super cool. I mean, it comes ready to run and I love that transmitter, but I'm already thinking of the upgrade possibilities with this. Like maybe even a small trailer for this too would be so cool. And it has a fake plastic winch on the front. You could rig up a small winch. Look at that, look at the front of it. How cool would that look with a winch on there? <laughs> It'd help it climb too. Now, although this did not make it up the steepest part of the hill where we drive our 10th scale, very capable, very expensive crawlers, this did make it up this hill. Look, this truck climbed this high. I mean, that's awesome. It just From took the- From the less yeah. least steep route. <laughs> yes, but it made it and, and it's a blast. Didn't you really have fun driving this? Yes, I actually really enjoyed it. And uh, it makes me, I wanted it when it came out and we, I still don't have it. The Axial Deadbolt 24 scale little guys. And we love Axial. You guys know we love Axial, but their little Deadbolt comes in at like twice the price of this. This is just so cool. Notice our little tiny RC Sailor stickers fit on there so well too. So right cute. On the hood. <laughs> this is a cool crawler guys. I'm very impressed. You have no reason not to buy this. Like I said in the beginning of this video, it holds very true. If you've never tried crawlers before and you've been like, you know what, the sailors make it look fun, but I really don't wanna drop 300 bucks on a ready to run crawler. And I don't wanna spend $200 on a questionably good crawler, might need upgrades. This is perfect for you. You gotta try this because this is gonna open up the whole crawling scene to you. And you're gonna see what we're talking about with like modding and upgrading it as you go. Now you don't have to, it runs great like this. Look how slow we can get the tires to go. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Full throttle, variable, super awesome transmitter. And I know, I know all you crawling guys out there, you're gonna want this. Absolutely add this to your collection because like I said, you can drive this in spots that you couldn't drive your 10th scale crawlers. Maybe when you're sitting around talking and waiting to go on your long trailing hike or something. This will fit in your toolbox or your backpack. You can put this on the, strap it to the side of your, it's so many possibilities. So awesome. We'll have a link in the description box below for the best price. I think they have a sale going on right now on this. So be sure to snatch it up while you can get it for the sale. I'm guessing that this will probably sell out because it's one of the coolest RC things we've seen in a long time that is actually worth every penny. I'll do my best to link those batteries too. If I forget, please someone tell me, okay? And thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.